Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ. It's time for another Patch Tuesday. September this time, which I think is the ninth, ninth Patch Tuesday of the year. And we got a nice and easy one. Seasons are changing. Also, the severity of our Patch Tuesdays are changing. We have a total of 64 patches, only five critical, with two that have already been known or exploited. Uh, so out of the ones that are critical, only one of them ranks over 7.8, and it's up to an 8.8, .8, and that is CVE2023. 38148 and that one is a internet connection sharing vulnerability for it's a remote code executable uh, the reason it's not listed higher than 8.8 .8 is it does have an attack vector of adjacent which means it has to be on the same network segment segment so they don't have to be on your machine run on your machine but they do have to be on a machine that is on the same either virtual network or on the same switch to be able to run this one so it's not really easy to access but other than that they're on this code they have the ability to run any sort of code remotely that's usually about as bad as it gets but it is not wormable at least not wormable past that network segment uh, the next one we're covering is this uh, cve 202329332 which is about azure kubernetes and what this is an elevation of privilege it is network uh, accessible and if they can run it they can't get I've already, i'm going to read my own words here they can get cluster administration privileges i'm going to spend a lot of time in azure but that sounds bad to me so if you're using Kubernetes, well, where it's in Azure, hopefully they've already patched it before they go live with this information. But uh, make sure you patch them for yourself. And this last one, this one's kind of fun because I normally don't get a highlight ones that are rated this low. This one is a 6.2 and listed important. And it is a dis information disclosure vulnerability for Microsoft Word. Uh, the reason I'm highlighting it is this one is both publicly known and already exploited. That's not, that's not a tell. It's a bad one. And while it does have the preview pane is an attack vector, which means they don't have to open the document. If it pops up in the preview pane, if they're looking to run this one, they will run it. As far as what it discloses, it says it can disclose NTLM hashes. That sounds bad. Don't, don't give away your hashes. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much everything for this Patch Tuesday. It's ultimately a pretty light month. Still, you're going to want to patch sooner than later. Maybe, maybe automate your patching. If you're going to do that. PDQ and in inventory, PDQ deploy. Never been cheaper and easier to keep your system automated. And that's everything for past Tuesday, September. For PDQ, I'm Jordan.